President Trump ran on the promise of restoring the coal industry. While he has started to roll back Obama-era regulations, experts say the rise of natural gas and automation will prevent coal jobs from coming back. But there is a growing effort to bring a brand new industry to Appalachia, computer coding. Former miners are heading to the classroom using many of the same skills they used underground. Weijia Zhang reports from West Virginia. In Boone County, West Virginia, coal mining has provided work for seven generations of Billy Jack Buzzard's family. When did you become a coal miner? Yeah, 18 years old. Right out of high school? Yes, ma'am. Three years ago, Buzzard lost his job at this coal plant. It was horrible, you know. I, I, I got laid off, lost my vehicle, lost my house. Did you have a plan B? No, there was no plan B. But the 29-year-old found one in June, swapping his hard hat for a laptop. You go to this website. He was accepted into a free training program called Mind Minds that teaches former coal miners to become computer coders, creating apps, websites, and games. This automates all that. Founder Amanda Locker started the nonprofit in Pennsylvania in 2015 because her younger brother was worried about losing his coal mining job. In just a few months, we realized, oh my gosh, they're actually really good. They're doing stuff. They're going off and learning stuff that I didn't even know yet. U.S. Senator Joe Manchin invited the group to his state. We saw that and we, we called him and said, would you come to our jobs fair? Manchin helped Mind Minds establish headquarters near West Virginia's capital with federal grants. Do you think coding is a game changer for West Virginia? I think it gives us a chance to diversify ourselves and be something that people think we're not. Manchin points out modern mining and coding require similar skills, especially in math and problem solving. We're not a bunch of idiots out here. You know, we're not a bunch of hillbillies. We're not a bunch of hilljacks. Uh, there are some very smart individuals here. Buzzard's ultimate goal, helping turn his home from coal country to code country. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Clendenin, West Virginia. So far, 80 people have received a computer coding certificate from Mind Minds. The program has sparked a new initiative to open coding boot camps across the state. West Virginia plans to have six camps open by early next year.